Hello YouTube, Eric DIY here with another video review. Today we're going to review the Sanzi LED security lights. This is a 200 watt incandescent equivalent. It's LED, it takes 27 watts, has 2700 lumens, and it has 5000K daylight color to it. It's waterproof, it's for the outdoors, and they're floodlights with a motion sensor. The light that I'm going to replace in this, I actually reviewed a couple months ago. It's, it served us well. It's an LED motion sensor uh, light, just like the Sanzi. First step to uninstalling any type of light fixture is that you want to go and turn off the circuit breaker to it. Uh, also have a voltage sensor ready for after you take it off, so that way you can see if it's still alive or not. Maybe you flipped the wrong breaker, maybe there's a problem with the wiring in the house, you never know. And then we're just going to unscrew that one screw, and it should come right out with all the wires. Alright, so we took that one screw out which just clamps onto here and now as you can see we have the three wires and the light fixture itself down here we're just going to carefully unscrew these and we're going to check them for voltages by using our volt sensor just to make sure there's no life power back here then you just carefully take the wires off the house wires and your fixture is off and we're ready to install the Sanzi LED motion sensor light so you actually notice on the Sanzi LED sensor motion light that it's very adjustable this is going to adjust up later on for the motion sensor. It also has your different settings on the bottom of the motion sensor. It has a test, which is what we're gonna leave it on for now, but then you can also set it to, the time basically sets the amount of time the light is on every time it's tripped. So test means every time it's tripped, then it has one minute, it has five minutes, it has 10 minutes. And then you have a distance button on the left over here, which just is what distance do you want the light to start reading movement from. The light itself is just three LED diodes. The last thing that you should probably know is that Sanzi actually makes some of the LEDs that are used in Times Square in New York so they must be pretty high quality if they're trusted there. So the installation accessories that come with the Sanzi LED motion sensor light are basically your little crossbar member here which goes in the box. It has these two screws that screw into the box has the ground wire here so that you can attach your bare ground copper wire here grounding has three wire knots has weather stripping which is important to keep moisture out so they have that and then finally this screw is going to screw through the middle of the device into the back plate right here that's what's going to hold it on and then they leave this little gasket that goes over this screw after you're done screwing it in the middle to give it a nice clean finish and to keep water out we're going to take off whatever we have to on that one because you necessarily don't have to take off everything and you might not even have to replace this uh, which I don't think I'm gonna have to do so the first step to installing the Sanzi LED light is to take the backing here and you're gonna screw it right into the box you're gonna use those two screws that came with the unit and you're just gonna put it right across the box like that once you have the bracket installed you want to make sure that you put the weather stripping on just to keep water out so I'm just going to reuse the old weather stripping. Okay, so the bracket's done in the middle. I had to reinstall the outer weatherproofing here, if you will, just to keep it straight and flush against the house, the siding. And uh, we're just going to connect the wires up. I'm going to connect them with the wire connectors. And remember, you want to make sure that there's no power in this. Well, obviously, there's not because I just touched it. But I did test it before I knew to touch it. So as you see, we wired it just black to black, green to bare copper wire, which is your ground wire, and white to white can also have this beer cup wire go on here for more grounding. So it grounds right here at the source. And now we're gonna carefully tuck these wires in and we're gonna mount the Sanzi LED motion sensor light. Before we go screwing this in for the final time, we just wanna make sure the wiring works and everything. So we're gonna turn the light on by connecting the power. We'll test it, make sure it lights up, and then we're gonna start putting it on the wall as long as it does that. And you can clearly see that the light is working. So I'm going to turn the power off again, and then we're going to screw it and mount it to the wall. So I'm going to have to retuck some of the wires in. That's only because I pulled it out so you can see that the screw goes through the front hole right there. And it goes through the unit. And it's going to screw into the little hole in the middle of the mounting bracket. And that's what holds the light on. Once again, that screw is going to screw in the back plate. And as you can see, it's closing in. I'm going to do it pretty tight so it holds the light onto the fixture and it is mounted. We're gonna adjust the lights and the motion sensor itself more towards nighttime so you can see how the light looks at night. To adjust the lights you can actually move them left to right and then you can also twist them to go sideways which is probably what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna twist them to go sideways 
so that way we get maximum light distribution here in the backyard where we've installed it mostly for Daisy my dog who comes out here at night and does her business this is what the Sanzi LED motion sensor light looks like during the daytime dusk here and you can see the light just got tripped on my dog just did her business and came out here and it's on for 10 minutes so let's take a look at how much light there is uh, first thing to know my camera does not show the full brightness of the light it's actually lighting up the whole backyard you can't see out here but it's actually going all the way out to the fence which is a good 30 to 40 feet out there so and it lights up the whole backyard um, I actually kind of like the dispersal of light better than the old light I replaced this with also the motion sensor light is a lot more sensitive than the other light I replaced with this light so I am probably going to leave this light because its functionality is just better than the other motion sensor light so we're gonna go test out the functionality of the motion sensor so this is the way my dog goes this is our back porch I'm gonna come down there I'm gonna point towards the light one two three four five six seven and right there I'm at the bottom of the steps and it instantly turns on it's exactly what I wanted to do the steps I came down from were over here again my camera does not do this justice my camera doesn't pick up the light as much as it is in real life so but my shadow is right there if you can see it if not that's the back of the fence about a good 30 feet away from the light and it lights up the whole backyard definitely brighter or it has a wider range with the way that it's designed so it's doing really really well and I know that when I was past that fence that's the driveway over there when I was over there and I just peeked over here it went on too so that motion sensor lights very sensitive because it's set for maximum sensitivity and it does a great job at picking things up even better than my old LED light that was there that we replaced so it does a very nice job lighting up the whole backyard so if you'd like to buy the Senzi LED motion sensor light, I'll leave a link below in the description. You'll be supporting the Eric DIY channel at the same time. We'll send you to Amazon where you can purchase your own. I just want to say thank you very much for watching and have a great evening. As always, if you like this video, found it useful, please subscribe. And if you have a product that you would like reviewed, please contact Eric by emailing him at Eric. 5150 DIY at gmail.com. Have a great day.